Desert Isle Crafty and I'm Christy. Good morning everyone. How are you today? Today is Friday, April 7th. I hope you all had a good week and that you have a very nice Easter weekend planned. I hope it's filled with family and great weather and make some great memories. I think that um, that's the wonderful thing about holidays is getting together with everyone. I don't know what my husband and I are going to do. Our family's all out of state, so I think he and I are just going to have to sit down tonight and figure it out. I plan on doing some crafting. Um, I'm trying to finish that daffodil picture that I showed you at the other day. I pretty much got it done. It's just the back stitching, and there's so much back stitching, but I think it's going to be really pretty. I think it's going to turn out really, really well. What I have for you today is an unbagging from Paint Some Way. Paint Some Way is a budget-friendly uh, crafting sh uh, website. It has diamond painting, it has cross-stitch, it has all kinds of crafting as far as those two areas go, along with all the tools and all the accessories. And I just noticed they also have, um, they call it knitting. When you click that link, it's got yarn and all kinds of crochet hooks and just all kinds of stuff for that and the prices were really really good so I do like paint some ways prices they are very very fair and they do have some specials going on too so I will get into that as we get along in this video but before we start I just want to say hello to all my subscribers and my new subscribers thank you so very much for watching my channel it's greatly appreciated and if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at what I've got here from Paint Some Way. Now, I have a little gnome with a, a wheelbarrow full of flowers. This is a Joy Sunday kit with cotton floss and cotton fabric. It is a 14 count. You'll use two strands of um, thread with that. And it's not real big, so let's get this out of the package so we can see it a little better. On the back are the, the standard Joyce Sunday instructions for doing your cross stitch, everything you need to know. Diagrams of the stitches, and I think you'll probably only need to use full stitch and back stitch, but it shows you how to do it, how to start. Perfect kind of kit for um, a new... A new um, I can't think straight today. For someone new to cross stitch, it's the perfect kind of kit because the instructions are so great. And then it tells you how to soak your fabric afterwards to get all the dye out. So here she is. She's really, really cute. I love the colors in this, the blues and the yellows. Lots and lots of back stitching. Lots and lots. And even for someone new to cross stitch, um, they should not be afraid of backstitching, and with something like this, it's a good learning project on how to backstitch. By the time you finish this picture, you'll be a pro. Okay, now this is the instructions. Boy, did that ever get a little messed up. You can write on this. It has 29 colors. It's got French knots, and it's got backstitching. You know, I don't know. I'm not real big on French knots, so I'll probably just use uh, seed beads for that in the appropriate color. So here's the pattern, very easy to read. You, The cool thing about these kits is that um, you can start anywhere. You know, a lot of places say start in the middle. So this red line here, this red line over here, well, where they meet is the middle of your fabric. I think when you're doing a counted cross stitch that's not stamped, that would be a good place to start. If you want, if you don't want to count out all the uh, squares, but for a stamped kit, I just start wherever I want. If there's a color I want, I really like. I'll just go for that color. She's so cute, isn't she? Very nice, easy to read pattern. Gotta love that in these kits. Let's look at the picture. Well, look at how small she is. She's so little. I'm gonna measure real quick and see what it is in inches. Okay, the actual picture itself is about seven and a quarter by oh, a little bit over six inches. 
So she's not real big. She's 102 stitches across, 86 inch stitches high. You've got a little bit of color blocking areas here. And that's great because that goes a lot faster. You're not having to change your threads and, and do the needle again and thread the needle again, I guess I should say. But yeah, nice, clearly printed. The symbols stay in the squares they belong in very nicely. You've got your legend along the bottom. Your edges are all surged. And it says up here the product number and gnome with sunflowers. What you do is you will... Now these will match up as far as the symbols go. So these symbols here will match up to the symbols on here. And then you will just um, find your thread according to the number over here. Now I don't know why they put that in there. Okay, so on this pattern, which I haven't seen a lot of as far as them doing it this way, you've got your symbols here. If you notice, they're different. Here and here. So these are the symbols that go on the pattern, the paper pattern. So number one would be number one, like right there. But on the actual fabric, number one is the blue dash. Now it has the same DMC code, so you know it's the same color. So anywhere there's a blue dash, which would be right in here, that's where you're going to put that. So these symbols do not match up, but at least on here, they give you two charts, two legends, and this one matches the legend at the bottom of your fabric. So I'm glad they do that, but that's kind of strange to me. Because that can get confusing for people. Okay, so she is adorable. Let's look at her colors. I give you two needles in a little bag. They don't write, some do, some don't, but this one doesn't have the product number written on it. I'd get a, a pen and write down this product number up here. Just in case these get separated, you'll know that these th these flosses go with this picture. I think the colors are really pretty. They're nice and soft cotton floss. We've got a lot of blues and yellows. And not a lot of floss because not a big picture. But I think this will be really cute when it's done. And you know, I'm kind of, I've gotten so many big, big kits to do that it's nice to have a little one to go to for a little bit of a break. But yeah, the colors are so pretty. I really like that. I think she's going to be precious with her little wheelbarrow of flowers. Okay, I've got one more for you here. Now, Paint Some Way is having a special right now where um, you spend $30, you get something free. You get one free. And this gnome picture actually was $3.99. So, hey, that's not bad at all. When you go to their website, you'll notice that a special window will pop up when you first go in, and it tells you that if you buy one, you get 9% off. And as you buy more... The, your percentage off gets higher and higher and higher. Now this one I just fell in love with. It's stained glass looking. It's a little blurry. But let's take it out of this plastic. Now this is a generic kit, so it's not a name, a brand name, so to speak. And at first, I didn't like these kits <clears throat> last year when I started getting them. But boy, ha I really think they have in picked up their game. And they've really improved. So here we've got 11 counts. So it tells you exactly that you need three, three threads for 11 count. The size, the stitch count, up and down, your item number. And here they've got the same instructions we found on the Joy Sunday kit. And then we have the pattern. And my goodness sakes, look how big this is. These used to be so little, and now they're so big. 
This has 39 colors. So over on this side, you've got a picture of the design, and then you've got your floss number, your symbol on here, your DMC coat, and then a color chart, which I really appreciate because you know what color you're looking for. What a nice pattern. I want to just see how close it is to the real size of this picture. I don't expect it to be the same size, but sometimes I would get these and they would be so little I could barely see them. Yeah, it's not as big as the actual fabric, but it's really, really easy to read. The symbols are very, very clear on here. So if you need to refer back, if you're having a problem on this and you're unsure of uh, the symbol or what color, you can use the grid lines on here and you can, because the grid lines are also on here, and you can find your area that you're unsure about just to get clarification. And if you find that you don't like working on a stamped um, picture like this, if you have some blank Ada or blank fabric, you can take this pattern and this floss and go ahead and do it on a blank, uh, uh, a blank and make it a counted cross stitch. Boy, my words just aren't coming out today. Okay, let's see what we got here. We're going to look at this first. And we're going to get a measurement on the size of this. This is good size, so I think with all the colors that this is going to be absolutely stunning. And for me, it's going to take a lot of self-control, and I don't know if I have that, in order to not start this, like today. Because it's so colorful. Now, this is 18 inches tall by oh, 13 and a quarter inches wide, 40 by 50 centimeter. There is confetti, but there's a lot of color blocking on this too. Let's check out how clear are the symbols. The symbols are super clear. They stay in their squares. I'm not seeing any bleed over here, which is wonderful. I've thrown cross stitches, stamp cross stitches away because the bleed over into another square just was, just annoyed the crap out of me. So you've got all these areas of yellow, and I do believe that's going to be 310 black. Yes, it is. So anywhere you see yellow is going to be like the stained glass lines, I guess you could call it. I mean, I might even start just doing that, but oh my goodness sakes. Now, let's see what we got here. They gave us a little toolkit. I love these bags. They're not thin and flimsy, but they're not too thick. And you can reuse these, and I would like to reuse these for diamond paint if I had to kit up all those diamonds. So we have a threader. And then we've got a little poofy with some needles. How many we got here? Five? Five needles. And a, a little adjustable thimble that's a little bent up. So I'll have to, oh, see that worked out. Okay. That'll be okay. I'm going to put these back in here. You know, you, some kids, some kids give you little tools like this. Some don't. This is pretty complete. I think the only thing you would need is some little snips or some little scissors or even one of these little thread cutter guides. I was so happy to find this, um, to be able to take on the cruise. I think I had a comment from a viewer that said that TSA um, won't let you through with anything, any blade longer than four inches. So, I mean, my little scissors might work, but I don't want to take a chance. So I just got that little thing um, and I'll just stick it in my little project bag and then that way I won't have to worry about it. But yeah, that's all you need for this and for the other kit really is some scissors. Now let's look at the floss. Nicely done that they put this in its own plastic bag along with your product number on here. So there's no mistaking what picture this goes to. Now this one, because it's bigger, it, sorry about the noise, it has a lot more floss. 
so much black. We have a hank of black. We have two hanks of black. Oh, look at these colors. Wow. With the black next to them. That's really going to make these colors pop. So many different shades of green. Come on now. There we go. So many different shades of greens and blues. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And pinks. Where's the yellows? Look at all these blues. Okay, so we've got green and two different blues here. Let's separate that out. And then over here, we've got more greens. Oh my goodness sakes, fuchsias, pinks, light greens. I love these light greens here. What a beautiful blue. And then on this side are the purples and the reds. Now I thought that this area in here would have yellow, but it doesn't. It looks like it's this gold. But oh my goodness sakes, the color range in this, I think it's just going to be beautiful when you add this colors, these colors to it. Oh, wow. This is going to be stunning. Stunning. So pretty. I just love color. I just love colorful stuff. They make me, these colors all make me happy. So this is a pretty great kit, I think. And it was $10.99. Which I don't think is a bad price. Considering all the flush you get, the size of the kit, the fact they give you a little little tool kit. I mean, I have found some kits, and it hasn't been very often, that do come with little scissory snips in them, which is great. I hope that one day they start making these kits and they include um, a little, a little uh, scissor thing or even the little thread cutter thing that I just showed you and then they would be totally and completely complete. I would think that these companies could get those things for really cheap and it wouldn't cost them much at all to include these in these kits. So what do you think of this one? Is that just so pretty? <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm looking for cross stitch kits I try to find different kinds of kits. Um other than the usual landscapes and now there's all these women kits and witch kits and oh my goodness sake silhouette kits and it's, I'm not really into doing people I'm not I have bought a few and I think I have a couple coming only because I thought they were really really different but I try to find different types of things um, that's just kind of you know me I guess I march to a different drummer than than most people do. I do think the quality at Paint Some Way is excellent. I have never had a problem with any of their kits. I think they have free shipping over $49. And I'm going to put links below with their with uh, their web address and then also the product links for both these kits. And all the discounts and current promotions they have going on right now. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, please hit the like button because that makes a huge difference with YouTube. And check them out. I highly recommend them. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a blessed Easter. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.